Understanding how to use math techniques is essential for any student who wants to do well on the SAT. It's not just about algebra and geometry and arithmetic, it's about problem solving, which means sometimes students need to apply different techniques than they might otherwise use for math classes they've learned over the years. Let's take a look at plug-in first. Plug-in is something that we use to be able to solve for relationships. Bob has $4 more than Lisa does. If Lisa has X dollars, how much would Bob have if he doubled his money? Notice that we don't know how much money Lisa has, and notice that we don't know how much money Bob has. Because we don't know either of these two values, we can choose a number and plug it in. Let's say that X equals two. Once you choose a number, the Book of Knowledge reminds us that you should put a box around it so that we don't forget what we're using. We say that Lisa's got $2. Well, if we look at the problem, Bob has $4 more than Lisa does, which means Bob has how much? Bob's got six bucks. The question wants to know how much Bob would have if he doubled his money. Well, if Bob's got $6 and we're going to double it, he now has $12. If Bob has $12, all we need to do is now using X equals 2, which we've made up on our own, put that into the answer choices and see which one works out to be 12. If we put it in for A, we get 6. If we put it in for B, we get 10. If we put it in for C, we get 4. If we put it in for D, we're going to get 8. And finally, we're hoping this works, you put it in for E, and that's right, we're going to get 12. The goal here is to take things away from the abstract and put them in the concrete. It's not that students can't use algebra here, it's we want to teach them a new way to approach problems, so they have one more tool in their toolbox. Here is plug in in action. We pick a number, we solve the question with that number, and we see which answer choice matches the same value that we got when we plugged in x equals 2.